after seeing the presidency up close for eight years, maybe the most important thing I've learned about the job is this. How a president focuses their time and energy in office is a direct reflection of the life they've lived before entering the White House. A president's policies are a direct reflection of their values. And we're seeing that truth on display with our current president, who has devoted his life to enriching himself, his family, and other wealthy people he truly understands, cutting taxes for the rich and big corporations, cutting regulations that protect regular families from getting taken advantage of by people like him, cutting his friends loose from prison time. He boasts about gains in the stock market, but when you look at the lives of regular folks, whether it's creating blue collar jobs, making healthcare more affordable, protecting the environment, keeping our families safe from gun violence, let alone the coronavirus, there's nothing much to brag about. By contrast, Joe Biden has lived his life guided by values and principles that mirror ones that most Americans can recognize. I know Joe, he is a good man who understands the struggles of everyday folks. When he was a kid, his dad lost his job. His family had to move to find work. As a young man, he quit his job at a lucrative law firm to serve as a public defender, protecting the rights of those who couldn't defend themselves. He continued to serve this country even in the face of unimaginable tragedy, losing his wife and baby daughter, later in his life his eldest son, relying on his deep faith in God to carry him through, never growing cynical, and always willing to see the humanity in us all. It is that spirit that determination that will make Joe the kind of president we need right now, one who will continue to put the needs of the country before his own, to ensure that all families can get back on their feet and our economy can get back on track. And he'll start by getting this virus under control, working with a broad coalition of leaders to develop a national strategy that will include mandatory mask wearing and free testing. He'll get schools the resources they need to sort through this confusion. He will listen to doctors and scientists to make sure that any vaccine will be safe, effective, and available to everyone. And Joe Biden will also get back to work solving problems that this president has ignored or made worse these past four years. Joe will give working families a tax credit for childcare He'll roll back those tax cuts for the rich and instead help small businesses and working families. He'll lower the cost of prescription drugs and give every American access to affordable health coverage. He'll work to restore trust between police and communities of color and address the racial discrimination that has plagued us for far too long. He will protect our planet he will invest in our schools and bring people together to get something done, even across our differences. And we can trust Joe Biden to name Supreme Court justices who follow in the footsteps of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, judges who understand that justice and equality aren't theoretical ideas, but concrete matters that affect our health care our livelihoods, and our bodies. This is the kind of leader our nation deserves. A leader who is tested and ready to dive right in. A leader who will lock arms with his terrific running mate, Kamala Harris, and bring us out of this downward spiral. A leader who will help heal this nation, and instead of tearing people apart, he will bring people together. It's a simple choice, really. A chance for a fresh start or four more years of this.